everyone, it's John from Ride Upstate, and I'm sure by now you've heard about Grubhub and now Uber adding a fuel surcharge to rides and deliveries. Well, I don't do Grubhub, but I do drive Uber Rideshare. And I want to break this down a little bit and talk about whether or not this is beneficial to drivers and how drivers can make the most of this added fuel charge. Okay, so in my market, I'm getting an additional 55 cents per ride that goes directly from the rider to me. According to the email that I received, Uber doesn't take any of this surcharge. Now, that doesn't mean that Uber isn't going to charge more for rides, but it also means that we're directly getting that surcharge. Now, the numbers I'm going to share are for my vehicle. Yours are going to vary. And this is where your choice of vehicle, when you originally started doing ride share, is now having an impact. So my car on the bottom end typically gets about 40 miles per gallon. I'm driving a Prius. So when the fuel costs were a dollar less a month ago, here in New York, I was it was costing me about 8.75 cents per mile to drive. Now that the fuel costs have gone up a dollar or so, it's costing me about 11.25 cents per mile. So that's an increase of about 3 cents per mile. Not that big of an increase when you really think about it. So this 55 cent surcharge that I'm getting is actually going to cover more than the fuel that I'm going to spend on a trip. Now, here's the thing that we need to remember. Uber never paid us unless there was a long pickup fee, but Uber never paid us for the miles to the passenger. So that's a wash. That's going to continue to be a wash. What's interesting now is with this 55 cent fuel surcharge, Uber's actually going to be covering the fuel costs of most of the trips that I do. I try and take short trips. And if you look at this, these screenshots that I'm showing you from the other night when I was out driving, most of my trips were under four or five miles. And when you take that in consideration, you're actually getting your fuel costs covered. Now, of course, if you've got a vehicle that gets 30 miles per gallon, those numbers are going to be different. And if you're driving a vehicle to get, that gets 20 miles per gallon, again, there's a difference there. So here's the thing I want you also to consider. If you're driving XL or you're driving Comfort or any of the other classes that aren't Uber X, you already receive a premium for your vehicle because it's fancier or holds more passengers or whatever. So you're already being compensated I would say personally for that additional fuel cost of driving a van, right? An Excel ride is going to charge more to the passenger and you're going to receive more as a driver doing an Excel ride than you are doing an Uber X ride. So that's kind of a wash. I think this surcharge, remember it's additional per trip, not per mile. Yes. Would we like to see an additional per mile trip? Yeah, surcharge. Absolutely. I think so. I think an additional five cents per mile would be much better than a per trip surcharge. I think the 55 to 65 cents per mile is a good compromise. Well, let me show you a few numbers here that I think will help you out a little bit more. So the average fuel mileage for vehicles in the United States is about 25 miles per gallon. So we'll use this average for all the numbers. It also makes calculating things a lot easier. So if you're driving a vehicle that gets 25 miles per gallon and you are paying, 
well, keep it simple, $5 per gallon. If you're paying $5 per gallon and you're getting 25 miles per gallon, you're paying 20 cents per mile right now. Okay, and let's say that went up from $4 a gallon. Previously, you were paying 16 cents per gallon. So the difference in that is four cents per gallon that you're now paying. So you can now drive almost 14 miles per trip and have the extra cost of your fuel covered by that 55 cent surcharge. So if you're doing trips that are less than 10 miles, your fuel costs are covered and you're making a little bit more per trip by this 55 cent surcharge. If it's 65 cents, you've got an even bigger benefit. So think about this. The example that they gave in the email that I received was, if I do 40 trips in a week, I'll earn an extra $22. For drivers who do primarily short trips, this 55 cents per trip, you're going to be making extra money. You're going to be making more money than the cost of the fuel that you're burning, especially if you have short pickups. So if you're doing pickups within a mile or two and you're only taking people two or three miles and your vehicle gets 25 miles per gallon, you're coming ahead with this 55 cent surcharge. So I hope these examples were helpful to you. I hope that you will look at this 55 cents and say, well, it's better than nothing. <laughs> Uh, it, it's it's hard to do that sometimes, I understand. But in the end, Uber is listening. Uber is hearing from the drivers, and, and they knew that they would have to do something in order to keep drivers on the road. Until next time, my name is John from Ride Upstate. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, and I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified each time I upload a video. Talk to you next time. Bye.